Google Pixel 8, a secret reveal. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Interesting news guys. As per a report from Galaxy Club, Google and Samsung are already working on a third generation Tensor SoC, which should power next year's Pixel 8 lineup. On the one hand, it's no surprise that Google and Samsung will continue to work on their joint venture but on the other, it's not the first time Google has killed a project or two. After all, the first generation Tensor chipset isn't exactly on par with the competition from Qualcomm and Apple though things may change in the future. The Tensor's advantage, however, is that Google has the freedom to tailor the SoC to its needs and its camera AI capabilities, for example, are quite impressive and allow the Pixel 6 to offer some advanced features. The same report also says that Samsung is working on the Exynos 1280 successor, a mid-range chip used in some of the company's budget offerings but unfortunately, the leak doesn't go into detail so aside from the Tensor 3's S5P9865 model number and the fact that it's being tested on a developer board codenamed Rip Current, there's nothing else we can work with. Then discussing the chipsets released by Qualcomm. Until now, Qualcomm has launched three chipsets based based on the 4 nanometers manufacturing process under the new naming scheme which are Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, and Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. Well, thanks to the reliable leakster Evan Bloss, we now know the company will also launch a Snapdragon 6 series chip with the same naming convention, called Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 and he has leaked the complete specs sheet of the SOAP, which tells us it is a 4 nanometers chip having part number SM6450 which also supports 5G networks and Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4 Plus technology. The 6 Gen 1 SOAP also consists consists of a Creo CPU clocked at up to 2.2 GHz, but we don't know the number of cores yet. In terms of display, the chip can support displays with up to full HD plus resolution and 120 Hz screen refresh rate and let you take pictures with a 108 MP camera. The smartphones powered by the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 will also be able to record 4K HDR videos at 30 FPS and slow-mo videos at 240 FPS while the image shared by Bloss says 240 FPS slow-mo video recording can be done in 270p, which I think could be a typo and the actual resolution could be 720p. Still, no word has been received from Qualcomm about the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1, but we might see it go official alongside the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 flagship chip at this year's Snapdragon Summit, which will be hosted in Hawaii between November 15th to 17th even though we could also see Qualcomm announce it before the 8 Gen 2. And with that said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.